everybody's doing well this morning. Today is Saturday, April 9th. In our devotional, it says, Seeking God in all earnestness. Proverbs chapter 11, verse 27. He who earnestly seeks good finds favor, but trouble will come to him who seeks evil. Psalm chapter 63, verse 1. You, God, are my God. Earnestly I seek you. I thirst for you. My whole being longs for you. In a dry and perched land where there is no water. Matthew chapter 9, verse 37 and 38. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 13 and 14. And it shall be that if you earnestly obey my commandments, which I command you today, to love your Lord, your God, and serve him with all your heart and with all your soul, then I will give you the rain of your land in its season, the early rain and the latter rain, that you may gather in your grain, your new wine, and your oil. Isaiah 26, verse 9. In the night I search for you. In the morning I earnestly seek you. For only when you come to judge the earth will people learn what is right. And at the bottom it says, We need to understand the seriousness of God's call. He is waiting for his lost children to return. Like a loving father with his arms wide open, he is welcoming each one back. We should seek after him with the same earnest heart. And through the Holy Spirit, we learn that there is only one way to find him. And that is through Jesus. Through him, we discover the omnipresent God. Seek God because everything that you need is found in him and praise God that is that goes right along with the video that I posted yesterday about it being a relationship with him and how we need to continue seeking after him we be hungry and thirsty for him um, in other words if you ate breakfast right now would that do you for the rest of your life or will you uh, be hungry later on today? Be hungry for more of God. Be zealous. Zealous means excited for God. Seek after him every day. That's how you increase your relationship with him. Uh, we have to continue feeding that relationship. In other words, just as you um, have to eat to nourish your body you have to continue feeding the holy spirit the oil inside of you the holy spirit you have to feed the holy spirit through his word and seeking god it's so so important guys and it's not a work it's not a work if he's living inside of you and you you know what he done for you it's something that should come very easy and it should be something that you want to do. You want to learn more about him. You you want to talk to him each day. But all right guys, as always, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Like, share, and subscribe. Join me on the Disciple Server. Link is in the description. Uh, there we do Bible studies and um uh there's a prayer group. There is a testimony group where you can come in once a week and give your testimony on what God has done for you. That keeps us encouraged each week, you know, uh, to be able to get with others, see what God is doing in each one's life. It's so encouraging. And uh, it's a 24 hours a day, seven days a week church. It's fellowship, good, edifying fellowship with other believers, true believers in Christ. Join us on there. 
um, as always, guys, if I don't see you in the next video, I hope to see you in heaven. Seek God today. Have a blessed day.